Well, this is what the inside of that saw looks like. That's how much garbage got in there when I just cut that one log, the last one over there. Uh, I'm using my old camera because it used a Hero 8, and as you can see on the last video, it turned out really crummy. So anyway, i got to clean this out, and then I'm going to go over there and I'm going try to try to cut off another one of those limbs. I pushed this last uh, branch off back so I could see where I cut it off. There it is right there. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but the inside of this right there is kind of kind of mushy. It's not hard like a regular tree would be. And this is all this is all the leaves that that I said, you know, they die up here and then they collect like that. It's also a fire hazard in your yard. Okay, I can't tell how good I'm getting this because it's bright and I can't see the screen good, but I'm going to try to cut this one off next. And uh, if I cut it right there, it should roll that way. So anyway, I'm going to try to cut that one. And it's about 95 degrees out here. So I'm going to take it a little at a time. I'll cut that one and see how I feel and then go from there but anyway as you can see i've got a lot more to do the problem with this one and this is they're real close to the fence and they're both leaning toward the fence so i'm going to have to come up with a way to pull them this way as i cut them that ought to be fun anyway hang on i want to show you something This is one of those sprigs that shoot up out of the top of the tree. You can see them there where we cut them off. And if you'll notice, this thing is dry. Well, before in my previous video, when I talked about the pain pulsing every 15 to 20 seconds, what had happened, we'd cut these off the top of this. And... They had them laying out right out here in the in the driveway so we could pick up and put in the trash can. Well, I came out in my slippers. See, there's one right there. See it? Right there. I came out, didn't have my work boots on, and I was going to take the trash out. Well, I came out, and I just so happened, I stepped on it, pushed it up like that, and cut it in the side of my ankle like that. It was just a scrape. I mean, it pulled the skin off and drew blood, but I didn't think anything about it. Took the trash out by the curb, went back in the house, and by the time I got back in the house, the pain started. I washed it and I cleaned it up and put antiseptic on it and for the next two weeks, that ankle drove me up the wall with shooting pains. It, wouldn't, it wasn't a constant pain. It, it'd be like a, a shooting pain. It'd stop, wait 15 to 20 seconds, and start up again. And, of course, you can't sleep with something like that. So, the bottom line is, I had to wait until the poison had worked its way out of my system. Now the thing of it is, you wouldn't think that this would cause such misery. But that just goes to show you, there's still sap in this, even though it's dried. If you get a cut and it's just mixed with blood, it activates it and it starts raising hell with your nerve endings. So anyway, that's what I was talking about in my previous video. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean my chainsaw out, and then I'm going to come out and I'm going to try to cut this. Alright, I got the saw cleaned out pretty good right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together, and then I'm going to go over there and see if I can't cut that limb off. 
I'm not going to do too much today because, like I said, it's 95 degrees out here. But anyway, you can see that right there real good where I cut this in here off. So, all right. Boy, you can sure smell a sap on that one. All right, that's the second one. I don't know if I'll be able to get this other one. That one right there. I gotta figure out something before I do that because uh, it's uh, leaning against the fence. Here. See this? It's leaning against the fence right here. So if I cut it, it'll crush that fence. You know, here's the second one. Right there. Boy, you can sure smell the sap in that. And I got a, a mask on. You can still smell it. Okay, that's these two. Now I gotta figure out what to do with these. These right here. That one's leaning toward the fence. And this one's leaning on the fence. So, I gotta figure out how to cut those. Alright, let's try it out. I'm going to quit here while I'm ahead. Okay. This one's the last one I cut. It's right down here. This is what it looks like. And... There's a second one I cut, the first one of today, and then I cut that one the day before yesterday. So I got three of the big ones cut. I still got this bunch and that bunch. And like I said, I have to wait on those until I can figure out how to put them away from the fence when I cut them. All right. It's hot out here, and uh, I'm having a hard time breathing with this stupid mask on, so I'll end it here. <laughs>